So essentially a single underpass is this. Okay, I can't do it like I just did it or go ahead and cross your feet. Boom, you see, see how you're able to just cross your feet, now I'm in danger, mm -hmm. right? So if this does happen, you'll just need to start running our triangle defense. Okay, go ahead and come back. The proper way to reduce that risk is to get further away from him, okay? So here, if I just put this in, you start going to the triangle now. Boom, yeah, just that, yeah. And just, just boom, that part first, and then you worry about all this other stuff, right? And then there's a couple people I hang out with these days that don't even worry about moving the arm over on the triangle. It still choke you so much you wanna throw up in your mouth, okay? So, all right, that, that's just like the thing, like you get to the highest levels of the art, right? And these people I'm referring to are ahead of me. They, they're like, yeah, yeah, you could do that if you want. And I'm like, I don't do it anymore. And they, they go unconscious any, either way, right? So, okay. So anyway, I want to put a knee up there, here, okay? Then a detail I always give people, and I, I, um, I don't even remember where I heard say this first, right? The first person I saw show this guard pass was from an old DVD I had from the early 90s with Henzo Gracie and Craig Cuco. And it was like a whole series on this pass. They had several variations. But put your hand in your back pocket, right? And that's probably from that DVD. I would have to double check. The next detail, and I coach people to do this, whether they're in the triangle or whether they're doing this pass. This is a single under leg. Once I get it on my shoulder, he could still do something like raise his hips up. Yes, okay, go back. So I'm not safe just because I'm higher. What I have to do is lean on his hamstring, okay? Now, when I do this, I'm thinking about my chest connecting here, okay? How's that feel? Not great. Not great. Now I'm gonna start looking up and I'm taking his knee to his nose. How's that feel? It, it does, it feels bad. You get to do it to me in a second. I thought about it, and I was like, man, Mike, you're gonna hurt my back when we do this. <laughs> but, he, well, I was thinking back to, did I have done this lesson with my friend, my friend Jack Toffer, got some great videos, BJJ versus cancer, you should watch them. So I've done this lesson with him, like on kitchen floors, you know, and like in different places that we were hanging out of training together, and it puts a lot of pressure on you, especially coming from that particular um, the hip thing guy, right? So look, put, come up with a knee up into combat base here, right? And then take his knee to his nose as I look up and pass, okay? So, Micah. So let's just do, just get in a, uh, yeah, kind of sit down on your heels. Just put your hand in your back pocket without doing the knee up thing. Okay, so again, this just reduces that. So kind of turn up, keep this knee up and turn a little bit. Boom, now go ahead and, yeah, see how it's repositioned you and everything. Okay, so once you're here, you get that on your shoulder a little bit, boom. Then you got to deal with me doing this, so lean into it. Ah, yes, keep leaning forward. Your chest is kind of open, yes. Take my knee to my nose, look up. Leave it to your hips. Keep your hips heavy on me. Yes. Oh, oh it's hurting at the end. Oh, that was terrible. I, I was thinking about that earlier. <clears throat> okay. Now, I made one small mistake before. So it's not that big of a deal, but let's see if you do it again. Just do the whole thing. The old sweep, the old sweep there, gotcha. Right? All I did was pull my legs, because I was like, oh, he's leaning this way. So I'm not gonna, boom, I'm gonna pull my legs and push them that way. Okay, so twist as you do that. Yeah, so you go to the back corner, wheel this out. Yeah, see that even opened my guard a little bit, right? I go hand in the back pocket, boom. Get it up under the shoulder, good, there. Hips forward, lean on it. Take my nose and my knee, very good. That hips forward details, 
is the money shot for you. Let me get your guard again. Bro, you need to get your mom to put a patch on these. Yeah, for your worried. grandma. I got one I need patched too if you have one of those. Okay. Right, so it's like, we're just trying not to lean across this plane, particularly not that way. So like what I'll do is I'll even widen out. Boom, look how that kind of opened. Because it's, if it opens, it's fine. The single under is a break and it's a pass. You feel how my hips are not connected to you? No. Yeah, now they are. Now, see how we're looking at each other in the eyes? I don't like looking people in the eyes that I'm trying to kill. That's what I do. I just don't like it when they're able to, to do things. Right? Uh, after I get out of your guard, I'll start looking in your eye again. <laughs> but people, when I was coming up, people would talk about stuff like this, like posture and guard, and they would say this. They would be like, look up at the ceiling. And that doesn't do it. Right? Like what they were really saying was bring your chest forward. And like, there is a moment where we'll look up to pass the leg, but it's so subtle. People off, oftentimes will look back to achieve that. And there's a counter there. Okay. So keep that weight coming forward in and down as you go around. There's no really lateral or backward corner or anything to this. It is folding them up, stack passing with the single under, taking their knee to their nose from your hand in the back pocket. So... What if we're in a triangle? That's the problem, right? So go ahead and put me in a triangle. Okay. And, you know, yeah, get everything you want. Okay. Here. Now look, you see my head's down? I want to get that chest coming up. And then look, see, I'm, I'm looking up. I'm not looking here. All right. that that's an old school judo idea they do this single and double under pass a lot and this will be trapped either here or here i just grab your wrist as i did that right you can grab wrist key whatever so um and then you can you'll be getting this here so it's like now you just have one hand to defend with essentially go ahead and start defending with that hand then it's me fighting, I'm just gonna pull that hand when you do that. That's a paper cutter choke. We touch on it. it comes up after like one of the guillotine defense takedowns we do in an early class. And it, um, it also comes up off of these single and double under. If we're passing under both your legs, it comes up off those guard passes, okay? So the idea here is the same. But the big thing, I've gotta connect my chest to your hamstring. If I can do that, I'm not pinching my shoulders in the back when I do this. If I can connect my chest to your hamstring, I'm going to be safe. That is this, the stop for the triangle. Another mistake people make is they'll do this and then they get in a hurry. Dude, I'm going to make this as slow of a pass on you as possible because I see that you suffer through it. I've done this enough to know that it doesn't feel good. Like we've been joking about it this whole time, right? So. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna make this stuff as long as possible for this person. They're trying to submit me. The match would have been over if they would have got it. Like, you know, so I wanna get in that posture, connect, lean, and just work your way past slow. Let's do that slow. So, here. I got my triangle set. Okay, so start coming up like you're in a mountain climber. Okay, now everything, see it's down. I want you to connect your chest. Still look down, all right? But yeah, see, now you're, it feels like my calf now. That's weird, right? So keep your chest connected and keep walking forward as you keep this posture. Lead through your chest. Ah, uh, keep going. Ah, uh, keep, see, it's not open yet. My, my ankles are like, just barely like that. Keep this. Keep taking my knee to my nose. Keep coming forward. Oh, look up. Oh. All right. Here's the thing. We're, if we were rolling, 
I still almost can't dictate the past. Meaning, like, there's a moment there where I'm like, this is what I have, dude. I want you to feel that way on all my bar passes, right? Like, man, I just wish this dude would pass my bar. Like, this is terrible, right? That means you're doing a good job, okay? And the pressure and the stack of this, usually, even if I relinquish and kind of surrender, and I'm like, oh, dude, just pass my bar. You, you still don't have to do it slow. I, again, am gonna move slow as possible as I get through the, your legs, okay? Um, next up. Let's take a look at this um, idea of a standing guard pass, okay? There's lots of ways to stand up in the guard. We can do this same guard pass from standing. But instead of the standing guard pass, itself we're going to loop into the knee bar okay so here this is a a subtlety of this one we talked about this in a previous class on punch defense with guard i don't i want to hook over with my sloth paws right if i just go hands in the biceps here grab your gable grip Make a muscle. It's the wrist one. You see that? Now, now do that slowly and turn your hip that way a little bit. You can open your guard. Uh, you're gonna break my arm. You're gonna spiral fracture right there, all right? So, and I'm giving it to you because I'm putting weight on your biceps. So if you know wrist locks, this could be a risk. So I'm gonna go here to where it's more my forearms on your biceps and more my sloth paws and these grips are on his triceps, okay? So as I'm here, I wanna think about uh, standing up, okay? So a little nuance here is uh, if he starts trying to come inside on one of these sides, yeah, what I'll do is I'll follow. So try and, try and go uh, over. Right, I'll just go here, try and go under, I'll go here. Like that. Now this is not it. This is the subtlety of once you've already stood up. Because you could do things here. Keep your guard. You all right? Your face looks a little funny. Let me fix your gear, maybe that'll help. I think it was because this is all up in your face now. All right. And I can see better. Here, once I do this, like just pushing will open. Okay, but like, look, I'm gonna go with this hand in the back pocket idea and go here. Post. Here. Why do I do this? Any idea? That was a good answer based off of the previous information that you received earlier. Sort of. If I continue back here, you would be me over. Turn your toes that way. No knee bar. All right? So you can turn your toes. It doesn't matter which way you turn, to be honest. But that, like, if you could turn your knee inside of my grip. So I grab your big toe and I put it behind my head. So you can't do that. Okay? This way. And once I'm here, here's what my feet are going to do. They're going to cross. I'm going to grab here. And what a lot of people do is they come in with their heels and they kind of pinch their knees together. Did you feel how it was like shaking? So I'm going to, instead of curling, I'm going to open my knees. All right? So, again, most people bring the heels in, right? So instead of that, we're gonna cross our feet and we're gonna spread our knees apart here. Way faster and no instability. When I was just like pinching tight and, and moving my hips, my legs were trembling, right? So that being said, here, I wanna 
open my knees apart and come forward. And the, the detail I always give people on this is like, look how much I can move my hips. And I can get there, but watch here. All right, so this is either way. Part of that is that I'm standing on the mat here. Whereas I can't really do that as much here. It's just a different sort of nuance of the technique. Okay, let me do one more on you, please. Okay, so here. If you start trying to go over, trying to touch my face going over, I follow you. I, okay, I open that door. You start trying to come under, I close the door. This is Mr. Hand. He's gonna go in your throat. Oh. How about that? It opened. If it opens, guys, just here. If it doesn't open, do what we did on the other guard pass and put your back hand in your pocket and it'll open. That's the like, single under guard break. A lot of times when you drag people up, like I did, that second part puts you up on your neck and stuff at the picture gee. Mm -hmm. When you do that, a lot of times people will open their guard. Oh man, it's bad. I'm gonna open my guard. Or if they hold on, put your hand in your back pocket, right? So, here, I'm gonna grab, cross my feet, and open. Again, here. Here, you try one, Mike. Get your sloth paws on my biceps. Good. Little, um, a little closer to my elbow joint. There, yes. See that, you even feel that. I feel way more uh, restricted. So this elbow, just if I go up, raise. Good. If I start trying to come back down, pin it. Good, Mr. Hand. Yeah, but keep the weight there first. Boom, all your weight right here. Yeah, I, I don't like that. Mr. Hand goes to my neck, stand up. Boom. Okay, now, I feel pretty good here. Do that thing where you drag my hips up underneath you. Stand all the way up. See that and pull me with you though, go back down. As you stand up, drag my shoulders toward you. Ah, see that, right? So I either have to open my guard or I was gonna say I didn't, I was being stubborn. Just right here, just push down, boom. Hand in the back pocket, scoop grip right here. Scoop grip is where we grab the leg with an underhook. This hand's gonna, so I'll step back with this one. This hand posted on the mat, swing around that leg and grab my big toe. Yes, right? Like go over it like that. Yes, okay? And then that other hand will just come up behind my Achilles. Yes, okay? Fall on your side, put that under your ear. Get your uh, feet crossed, right? But this, yes, and your knees are gonna open. Yes, come back. Scoot into me a little bit. Drop this down. Boom, yes, okay? Now, as you open these knees, make these hips come forward in my hand. Oh yeah, see, way worse. See here. And guys, this is a, a side. We can do this from kneeling. I'm gonna show you a sidebar here. I'm coming back here, I'm getting into this. There it is. Here, get on your side, right? So that is um, single under to the knee, okay? Now last thing, toe hold, okay? Right here. Like this. Okay, look, I don't want to, like when I, when I was first learning the toe hold, nobody emphasized this stuff to me, right? And it took years to figure it out. Like I, I would always get people in it. I was like midway through my brown belt before I had crafted a toe hold that was useful. This is um, one of the most fundamental ones I know. And it comes off of uh, when somebody does something very common, recovers guard, right? But this isn't the same context on every toe hold, 
okay? If I was between his legs versus the outside of his leg, it might be a little different, okay? But here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna grab the toes and grab the wrist. See how that's snugged up on the inside here, okay? So like, go ahead and bend your knee for me just in this. So he'll be bending his knee recovering guard here. And I want to think about, like I'm pulling here, so that's one motion. I'm going over the end of his toes, not the mid rip of his foot here, like that, boom. Like I'm going over almost all of his toes. Oh, sorry, <laughs> not sorry, all right? And then too, like look how this elbow, sorry, this elbow is a lever, right? Like where the, where the fulcrum uh, is creating leverage rather. So here, boom, okay? And a lot of toe holds, people won't be emphasizing. And see, like, look how you can kind of just turn that way with it. See, you can do things. Watch this. Here. Right? And that was just me dropping weight like this. Right? But I had your foot. Boom. Okay? So, side control, please. Look, when somebody goes to recover their guard, go ahead and just get your shin into the recover guard. Hey, look here. Boom. Right? It's right there. And once I'm here, yeah, I'm just gonna go here. Try and keep your legs straight. Very hard, okay? If you do keep your legs straight, I'm still, still likely to finish it. But think about how many things we've learned in this program that are the opposite. Hey, so you're trying to push me this way, so I lean that way. I see the opposite of what you're doing, so nothing happened. It's literally that simple, right? Sometimes you're, the opposite is like, oh, I thought it was that angle instead of that angle. It might be, they're going that way. It might be, yeah, I'm going this way, but I'm going down with it too, so they don't pick me up or whatever. Mm -hmm. So there's some nuance there for sure. But with this, um, Man, it's uh, that when you lean weight back into that shoulder, that leverage of that lap is very strong because you're using your back muscle, right? So um, go ahead and get me with side control. Good. And I'm coming here. Yes. Okay, so grab, grab. Now, see all this? And you can kind of, you can turn a little bit. Turn your body that way. Oh, yes. Boom. Now you see this? That's what I was saying about sink weight into your lap. Ah, now just hold this. Okay. I'm going to try and kick my legs straight. As I do that, you just lean back. Good. Okay. Now get your finish. Pull, pull. All right, so this is gonna, there you go. This is gonna pull my foot this way. And I want this to take my big toe, this hand, towards my butt, my tailbone. Try and, try and bend my foot towards my tailbone. There you go, okay? Now, I'm gonna try and, I want you to do that while I'm trying to straighten my leg. Ah, that hurt way worse. Okay, we're done. That's good, still hurts. 